what's happening everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Padme Amidala from The Phantom Menace. So I am happy to have another Padme in the line. I mean, the first one from Attack of the Clones came out in spring of 2019. So it's been right at five years since we've had a Padme in the Black Series. So I'm happy. And of course, this comes in the Galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top through the window. You can see Padme it comes with an extra hand and an S5 blaster, as well as her little ELG-3A blaster. Pretty cool. Then we have Star Wars The Phantom Menace and Padme Amidala. The front window wraps around on this side, and there's the side with the artwork, and it's, uh, it's okay. It's all right. She looks more like she did in The Professional than The Phantom Menace. Uh, it's no huge deal, but you got a nice little Naboo scene going on in the background. I love that. Got a small window on the top and on the bottom, barcode, some small print, and some logos. And there's the back of the box. You got the same picture that's on the side. You have a short bio in various languages. Padme's number three in the Phantom Menace line, and you have some more mouse print down there. And the bio just says, Padme Amidala was a courageous, hopeful leader, serving as queen and then senator of Naboo, and was also handy with a blaster. All right, I'm going to get Padme Amidala from the Phantom Menace open, and let's take a look at her. Okay, so here is Padme out of the box, and I'm impressed. I mean, this is actually a very nice looking figure. But I am particularly impressed with the face. I think they did well here. I mean, the Natalie Portman likeness, it's there. I think they did a nice job. Now, it's, I think it's better than the render for sure. The render looked a little rough. And those pictures that were floating around on Reddit, uh, some of those early shots, this is much better than those. So I'm happy with this one. I think the eyes look good, the nose and the mouth, the two little moles there. Nicely done. Got some kind of rosy cheeks. The hairline has some light shading. And the hair sculpt itself, I think, looks very good. The back and the sides and the top. Yeah. It looks nice. I mean, from the neck up, I think they did very well here. And from the neck down, it's a lot of maroon. <laughs> but the sculpt is great. And I am loving this gold. There is some fine detail all in here. I mean, that's just great. And it just carries down. But I am just loving all this detail. It has a cool texture. A little black there. The belt there. Looks good. But the rest of it, it's just a lot of maroon. <laughs> the sculpt there looks great. Sleeves look good. Nice folds. Um, hands. So, out of the box, she has the larger gripping hand. Okay, for the S5, the larger blaster. Okay. And then this is just a gripping hand over here on the left. Um, that's what the back looks like. Some pretty good detail, some nice folds, and then the legs, same color, just this maroon color, legs, and some black boots, and you have some stuff going on down here. I guess it's supposed to be like weathering. I'm assuming. I don't think there's a whole lot of dirt on Naboo, but there's something there, okay? But, but from top to bottom, I think it's a good-looking figure. And let's touch on articulation real quick. She has some very good side-to-side. -side. She has some very good down, some pretty good up, and some absolutely insane tilt. She has some side-to-side -side at the neck, as well as some chicken neck, you know, front and back. She is extremely mobile up here. The arms can get up that far. Now, I don't think it's an actual butterfly joint. I mean, there is some motion there, but it may just be the joint flexing. Okay, but there is a little bit of movement there. They can rotate around. Now, for elbows, they get, well, they're very tight. Deep cut on the elbow, so they both get, yeah, that's impressive. They both get past 90, okay, which is not bad. There is a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist, and a very nice up and down hinge on the right hand. And the left hand has a side to side hinge. As far as midsection, you've got some very good swivel, some decent crunch, some very good back, and some very, very good side to side tilt. As far as legs, they can get up that far. Now the skirt is kind of in the way, but I can kind of flip it out of the way. And you can see the legs go all the way out. They can go back a little bit. Now, there is no thigh cut, but you do have a little bit of rotation at the hip joint. Knees get a, mm, a smidge past 90. There's a swivel at the knee. Feet go down to there. They go up a touch, and there is some swivel at the ankle. So, yes, the skirt is in the way as far as leg movement, you know, to an extent. But I think the elbows are very good, the wrists are good, and the head has some insane range. So, overall, the articulation on Padme is not bad. And moving on to accessories. So, here's the S5. Big old blaster pistol. I love this. This is awesome. The sculpt is on another level. The paint is nice. The scope. The little, I think this is like the grappling hook part of it right down there. It's underneath the barrel but you have another scope on that side. I mean, just some great detail throughout. I love this blaster. And let's see how the S5 looks in her hands. <laughs> Massive grip. 
Um, yeah, that's not bad. Now on this hand, the trigger finger is actually sculpted to the other fingers, so it doesn't quite sit on the trigger. Not quite, uh, but it's it's not horrible. But just like that, I think that looks good. And there she is with the arm fully extended with the wrist hinge tipped down just a little bit. Uh, that looks pretty natural and that's a pretty nice pose there. And I think she looks good just with the blaster down by her side. And I think the elbows are pretty good so you can get the blaster all the way up here next to her head and I like it. And again, pretty good elbows and a very good wrist hinge so she can fire low from the hip like this. So I am loving this S5. Even though the trigger finger doesn't quite sit on the trigger, I still love this blaster. But let's take a look at the other blaster and the other hand. So let's pull that hand out and pop this hand in. See how easy this is. Get in there. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's what that hand looks like. Much smaller. And now let's take a look at the other blaster. And here is the ELG 3A, the little Naboo blaster. And it's cool. I mean, it's... It, it looks like it's supposed to. Now, sadly, there is no paint on here. The, um, the Padme from Attack of the Clones, that blaster has some brown on the grip. This is just this flat gray. It's not even all that shiny, so that's kind of a bummer. But overall, it looks fine. Now, in some shots, the barrel is short. And in other shots, the barrel is longer. And you can just extend this barrel if you want to. You can just pull it out. Okay, so now it's longer. If you want that look... And that looks pretty good, but just be mindful, this whole barrel can come all the way out and it will disappear if, <laughs> if it hits the floor. So be mindful of that. Uh, but it's cool that they did include this barrel, you know, extending and, of course, collapsing. Um, but yeah, that's what that looks like. And let's see how the little blaster goes in her hand. Okay, that looks very nice. Trigger finger sitting right on the trigger. And you can, of course, have the option of a short barrel or a long barrel. Uh, let's see. Let's just put her in some basic firing pose, and I think that looks nice. And here she is with the legs somewhat far apart, the arm fully extended. I think this is a great pose, and this figure is actually very stable. She stands very well with the feet this far apart. I'm liking it, and it's a cool pose. And once again, the elbows are pretty good, so you can get the blaster all the way up to her head like this. And if you want the barrel shortened, you can just push that in. And now she has a little short barrel. And I think just having this blaster down by our side, I think this looks good. But the fact that I have my other Padme posed with this blaster, I think I'm going to pose this one with the S5, the larger blaster. That's just a cool weapon. So we'll switch hands again, plop the bigger blaster in her hand, like, like so. There we go. Get her in some kind of, you know, basic firing pose, something like that. Okay, that looks... Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go put Padme on the shelf and let's see how she looks. And here we are, and I think she looks really nice on the shelf. So I just kind of start her here. I mean, I've got young Anakin on the way, Droidica's Kieti Mundi, maybe one day. Um, but I'm going to have to do a lot of shuffling on this particular section of the display. So I just put her here. But I think she looks really good. And you can see how she scales, you know, in comparison to Qui-Gon, some battle droids. I think she's a great height and I'm happy. It's a nice looking figure. So bottom line, I think it's a great figure. I mean, from top to bottom, it looks exactly like it's supposed to. I'm very happy with this face. I think they did a good job. I really do not have any gripes about this face whatsoever. The outfit as a whole is great. I mean, yes, the skirt's a little stiff, you know, but it's okay. It's okay. I am absolutely loving this gold. Just awesome detail in there. The S5 is absolutely killer. And this one, it's cool. It's cool. And the fact that the barrel can extend, I think, is pretty sweet. It's very tight, though. And there we go. Um, yeah, there's that little tiny thing. Uh, it's nice to have an alternate hand. Again, you know, just like the other Padme. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same hands or not. I should, I should have compared. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. In fact, yes, let me do this real quick since I brought it up. All right, so there's the smaller hand for the smaller blaster. And I'm thinking the new one looks a little bigger. And of course, the blaster's you know, slightly bigger. It's a new sculpt. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that's a different hand. Now this hand here, all right, so here's an S5 in the new Padme. This one is an E5, the Battle Droid Blaster. If you look at the index finger, that's pretty stinking close. So this may be the same hand there, but I am thinking that the one for the smaller blaster, that might be different. It just looked a little bit bigger to me. I don't know, you decide. Now back to the video. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to have an extra hand. Different blaster, but I am loving this S5. I mean, that thing is just 
this is just cool. Super cool. Um, top, bottom, front, back, sides. Everything about this figure just looks spectacular. I'm very happy with it. But just like always, I would love to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of Padme Amidala from The Phantom Menace. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And something else I urge you to consider, and that is joining the channel. It's only 99 cents a month. You can become a member of the 112th Battalion. You'll have access to sneak peeks and custom emojis and all kinds of other stuff. I would definitely appreciate that. But just like always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.